Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Les. No Limit String Account. What up, y'all? All right. Ask somebody, ask me a question. I'm going to my cell phone, get his name. It's about how I start my business and how I track a lot of people in my business and inspire a lot of people here. His name is um, Tony Pier Fitness. Tony Pier Fitness, you know what I'm saying? So basically, he was asking me, like, man, like, how you do it? You know what I'm saying? He's been watching my videos and stuff when I first started. So now I've been like, doing this almost two years on YouTube and all that stuff though so you know and I'm growing and I'm helping people out and I do kids too so you know that's the big thing a lot of people love about me alright but yeah Tony I'm gonna tell you how I did it alright number one was I started doing sports with kids all that stuff I used to have a travel ball baseball team and all that stuff and then what I did was I took the kids and asked to show them how to work out and all that stuff how to work out the things they need to do and train them and that's what I did. So, you know, all the parents said, hey, that's cool, man. How you with these kids and you outside? You know, I had no building on nothing. Everything I did was just outside. So, you know, every time it rained or the weather was not bad, the field was muddy or something going on, you know what I'm saying? So we couldn't do our work all the time. So the parents said, hey, why don't you go get a, uh, uh, a building or something, do something. So then that's what we did. Then a lot of them, they helped me and stuff. They donated stuff for me, like baseball, donated like masks, donated a lot of different stuff for me and really like helped me. And you know, and that was cool because you know, the community helped me, you know what I'm saying? And then right there, they're like, it's part of me. Like, man, like, if I had a lot of people like that and I inspire, inspire the kids and the parents and they got my back and they behind me, I'm doing something right. So I like, I might if I go ahead and get my own business and help other people. Ain't just the kids, ain't just the kids or not. You know, other people like older folks and dogs, you know, who have trouble losing weight. Uh, people who's real skinny, they trying to, you know what I'm saying, gain weight and get buff or whatever. You know, just some. I, I feel like I done put something together for the whole community to get stronger, you know what I'm saying? And be a better version of their itself and all that, you know? And that's what I feel like, you know, I didn't give to the community. And that's the one thing you do. If you get the community backing you, you get more and more people following you and all that stuff go. And then the number one thing too, they have to trust you. If they trust you, they got your back 100%. That's one thing I really, really um, found out though, it's that trust thing. Because they don't trust you, so, oh, they too much, they don't mess with you and all that stuff. So that's just one of the things I saw when I do my business and I grew. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, while I went on my first start with the adults though, it was kind of slow, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, you got to do advertising, doing all this and all that stuff though. But after a while, I was picking up. After a while, I started having college students and all that stuff. And then everything started um, coming in together. And then what happened was, it's like, boom, you know what I'm saying? Then, then the um, the girls start coming in and they had more and more guys coming in because they were like, hey, you know, them girls look good or whatever. And so the guys start coming in and it's like, everything started, you know, gelling together. You know, when you start, everything starts drilling together, it's like boom. And then when it starts drilling together, then you be like, okay, what I gotta do? Now, when you start doing workout plans though, you gotta keep it different though. Keep it hot different though, because if you keep that same workout, it's like, man, you know, he don't know what he's doing, whatever, and blah, blah, blah. You gotta at least know what you're doing. Keep the um, workout different. And then at the same time, like, the workouts you do though, you gotta, you know, you gotta be considered as, somebody come out, they might be out of shape or whatever. You might might have to modify some work up workout form and all that. You gotta keep that in mind because like you go to some of these gyms, it's like you know they don't care. You know it's all about them. It's all about them. You can't do that all the time. Sometimes man, you gotta help the other person who don't, who's not fortunate can't be like the next person. Sometimes you gotta like give them a little help, push them a little bit though, but not too much to scare them away. Like they don't want to come back again. You know what I'm saying? And they keep coming. And they they admire you. They be happy and stuff. They they, they look forward to coming in because they feel like. Hey, that coach right there, he's helping me, he's here for me, just not for himself, like, well, I don't care. Hey, you know, it's all about the money. Just get your butt over there and just do this. I don't give a hell about how you feel and I don't care your little leg hurt, your back and this is going on. I don't give a hell. You sometimes you can't do that sometimes. You gotta be there and help folks. That's why you in this business. When folks start seeing that about you, you being there helping them and you meeting their goals, oh 
they're gonna be have your back 100%. So that's one thing you have to look at, you know, um, when you start your business stuff though, because you gotta be good to the people. You be good to the people, you get more people coming to you and all that stuff though. And then more knowledge you have in your um, your workouts you do and everything you do, it's better than you, you know, it's better than it is. And a lot of people think they just, just jump in a business like this. It, 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 it's hard though too, because at the same time, like I just said, I'm gonna go back like I said, you gotta have a plan and a goal. What you gonna do, you know what I'm saying? And and, and who you targeting though? Like, you talking like ladies, got lady class, maybe you got um, um, class for weightlifting for guys, whatever. You gotta know what you targeting and all that stuff though. And you gotta know what you teaching and you gotta know what you're doing. You know? If you don't know what you're doing, they, they'll call you out. And then the other thing is though, when they ask you, can you do it? And you talking about, well, I don't know how to do this or whatever, but you threw a workout there, but you can't show how to do it because you, you ain't trained for it or you ain't strong enough for it, but you put it out there, oh, you fucked up on that one. You fucked up on that one. Cause then they're gonna be like, he don't know what the hell he's doing. He's sitting up here throwing workout. He don't know what the hell he's doing. So why the hell we need to call and come to him? You know what I'm saying? So. Those are the things you gotta look at, you know. It's, it's a fun job to do, but at the same time, you gotta do your homework. You gotta do your homework, you gotta study on there and all that. And sometimes, man, like, you know, get, try to get certified in something or whatever, or go to school with it too, or whatever gym you go to, though. If you really want to, pay attention and do the workout, you know what I'm saying? You know, you just can't go there, open the gym, and think it's just gonna get, go, it's gonna be easy. It's not easy, because like I told you at the same time, people will expose you out there. You hear me? Expose you out there, and then it's a, it'll be over with. But at the same time, it'll be good. It's all about the knowledge you got and your heart into it, and you do. You know what I'm saying? So, it's your boy Les. Yo, hit that subscribe button. And you know what I'm saying? Tony, uh, Peer, Peer Fitness. Yo, man, just go out to you, boy. All right, I told you I'm going to do a video. You there, all right? Love all y'all out there. Peace.